I'm Bridget Gallagher of Gallagher Group LLC. I'm a fundraising consultant specializing in nonprofit media and journalism groups. And over the last 10 years, I've worked with organizations around the world raising tens of millions of dollars to support their mission to bring transparency and accountability to the world. The first habit to develop for an effective major gifts program is preparation. And this should be easy for you as an investigative journalist. You want to be able to make an argument about why your programs align with your prospective donors' goals and strategies. And in order to do that, you'll need to have a pretty thorough understanding of what those are. So put your investigative skills to work. Consult resources like the Foundation Directory, Inside Philanthropy, the Chronicle of Philanthropy, to learn about foundations, philanthropists, and what they're seeking to achieve with their grant making. That way, you'll have a better sense of how to frame your presentation to them and understand what they're looking for. Remember that these conversations are about the donor's interests and needs, so make sure that you have an understanding of that and can articulate how your own programs and goals align with that. The second key fundraising strategy is presentation. This is where the rubber really meets the road. This is your opportunity to introduce yourself to a donor in a way that is compelling and gives them reasons to want to support you. So be able to articulate very succinctly the impact your work has had, the importance of your mission, who you reach, and how. The three questions you should think about answering in your presentation, whether that's verbal, whether that's a PowerPoint deck, whether that's in a phone call or an email to a donor are, why you, why this, why now? Why are you the best organization to execute on this project? Why is this project so important? And what's the inflection point we're at that makes this project the right project now? Why is it timely? Also remember in your presentation that it's really important to listen to the donor. Um, a good ask, a good solicitation is really about meeting the donor's needs. So your preparation has helped you understand what those needs and goals are. Your presentation should, should speak very very directly to those needs. The third and final habit for healthy major donor relationships is persistence. Persistence is important because there's no substitute for time in developing a healthy major gift relationship. You need to follow up after you've made your presentation, after you've introduced yourself to the donor with whatever information you promised, with a proposal or concept note, whatever next steps were identified in your introductory encounter. Uh, and you need to then find excuses to stay in touch with that donor so that they can get to know you in ways that help them make the case for supporting you. Another key reason why persistence is important is because Philanthropists, program officers, the people you're approaching are incredibly busy and are receiving a lot of solicitations. So in order to avoid getting lost in the shuffle, um, in order to stay top of mind when they have the opportunity to approve a grant or write a check, you need to remind them that you exist, that you had this productive conversation, that you share a lot of values and goals, and that it's in their interest to partner with you by supporting you.